everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I want to talk to you about another new Tokyo feature, and that is architecture rule artifacts. Try typing that word several times. Architectural artifacts are in the application portfolio management suite. It's new to Tokyo, and essentially it's the way for you to manage technical artifacts related to your architecture and relate those to business capabilities and business applications, store them, version them, have an approval process for them, and essentially provides this missing capability that we haven't been able to do in service now with application portfolio management. If you're not familiar with application portfolio management, it's part of strategic portfolio management. And the quick version is it's a system and application to let you manage your application landscape, your technology landscape, and all the stuff that might be associated with them. It's heavy on CSDM. So you're going to map your business capabilities to the business applications you already have. Do you have d duplication? Are you have no application to serve some of the capabilities and then managing the life cycles everything associated with it and now managing our artifacts so you can see up here behind me i've got the architectural artifacts release notes page in tokyo i'm going to hop into service now i've got a list of business applications and i wanted to at least show these so you can get an idea of what is justin talking about for business applications and if I go into my application portfolio management menu here, we see we have a new section for architectural artifacts. Now, this is going to disappear here real quick, but that's OK. I'll pull it back up and it should be now in there. So it stops here at programs, but I've got categories for my artifacts. I've got versions, the related entities. So it could be a server, an application. You'll see here in a second the business app, business capability artifacts, and then diagrams. I'm gonna cover diagrams in a future video. If you use Lucidchart, you're gonna to wanna to look for that video. I'll have that out here later. But let's go ahead and take a look at a sample artifact so you can see that, understand what you're missing out on. Now, I mentioned approvals, review process, and version. So you can see that right up front. I've got an owner and I've got who's gonna review this actual artifact. And then just to the right of that, I've got a category and an approved version. Now, as far as categories, these are definable by you. In my demo instance, I've got all these different categories defined, over 61 of them. We can associate with the artifact. I can have a description. I can control who can access this artifact. Maybe there's something confidential or sensitive information within that particular artifact that would be detrimental if it got into the wrong hands around how your system's architected. And then down below, let's talk through a couple of these first before I actually show you the artifact related entities this has two business apps avid employee engagement system and attendance and payroll management that are associated with it and on this one i don't have any role or user criteria or user permissions but i do have some group permissions that this is locked down to and it's right next to my head right over there that, well, that way <laughs> the enterprise architect group who has access to this so good permissioning there and then if i actually look at the artifact itself i can see it's a doc document it's attached, I have an approval history. And if I go back to that artifact page, I could have downloaded it there, but notice above my head, I've also got a link to download the most current version of the artifact directly from this page. Once I do that, it's gonna download the Word document and I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. It's gonna be on my other screen because I got Word open over there, but I'll slide it over here so you can see it and we'll make it bigger or we'll embiggen it so that you have a visibility into what is an architecture artifact. And this is what it looks like. This is stuff that's been being maintained outside of ServiceNow. ServiceNow does not do this. Yes, there's diagrams, there's relationships between different things, but this is what your everyday architect is going to use to go talk to the business about that particular application, how it's structured, cost justifications and changes to the architecture. This is what they use to communicate. So now it's all tied into ServiceNow with feature rich functionality. In a future video, I've already said Lucidchart. So if you're using Lucidchart for these diagrams, look for that video. It's going to come out after this one. I'm going to show that integration live so you can see it. all the same versioning and everything else. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think is interested in storing their enterprise artifacts around their architecture within ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.